Hey guys, this is Czech Brothers. Verni company is very active recently. The Chinese manufacturer released a lot of smartphones for last time, such as Verni Suit Plus, Verni Mix, and others. Today we want to talk about another smartphone, Verni M5. We received this smartphone some day ago, our partner Gear Best Online Store. In the description under the video, you can find link where to buy Verni M5 cheaper. Verni M5 is a budget smartphone, and it doesn't have any latest features like bezel-less design and dual rear camera. At first glance, it's a regular Android smartphone without any features. So let's review it and find out, is true or not. The smartphone comes in white box. Here we can see company logo on the front and the back zero specification list. Let's open the box and see what inside. Here we made smartphone. It has factory film on both front and back panels. We'll look at design of smartphone later. Under the smartphone we can see USB cable, power adapter, user manual and SIM needle. It's pity, but there is no headphones and silicon case. If the headphones is not necessary, because they are often bad quality, so silicon case would be very useful. Veruni M5 is made of plastic that look like metal. It's really thin smartphone with 6.9 mm. Most of other budget devices have thinker bodies. It's not bezel-less phone, so there is frame on the left and right of display. However, they are almost invisible thanks to 2.5D effect of protective glass. Also, you should note that there is no home button and fingerprint sensor is located on the back. On the right side, you can buy power keys and volume rocker. The slot for SIM card is on the left side. It's cubrid slot, so you can use dual SIM card or one SIM card and microSD memory card. Despite thin body, Verni M5 has 3.5mm audio jack on the top. At the bottom is micro USB port and holes for speakers and microphone. On the back panel of Verni M5 is everything standard. The main camera sensor in the middle, fingerprint sensor under the camera, and to the left is LED flash. Plastic insert for antennas are very thin and stretch horizontally. So, Verni M5 doesn't have metal body, dual rear camera or bezel-less design. However, thanks to 5.2-inch display and sync body, it's look and feel very good. As I already said, Verni M5 comes with 5.2 inches HD display. It's neither too wide, well, 5.5 inches not too narrow, like 5 inches, so it's very comfortable to hold and use with one hand. It's APS LCD panel with 2 and 5D glass on top. The colors are brightness are decent with good amount of saturation. The resolution is 1280 by 720 pixels. Yes, it's not full HD, but not many people will feel the different at the size. Verni M5 is powered by very common processor for budget Chinese smartphone, MediaTek MT670. It provides good performance for budget device, thanks to 8 cores with clock speed 1.5 GHz. One of the main features of this chipset is integrated modem, with supporting 4G LTE Category 6 networks. It has downloaded speed up to 300 MB per second. The chipset can handle most intensive processing without any lags. Also, it has problems with heating. The maximum temperature is reaching up to 44 degrees. Verni M5 comes with 4GB of RAM for multitasking and 64GB of internal storage with supporting microSD card up to 128GB. Now let's see some benchmarks. New smartphone has about 40,000 scores in Antutu. It's really good result for budget smartphone. 
As for Geekbench 4, here we can see 600 in single core test and 2512 in multi core test. Later we will make video with performance tests of this smartphone and show you all benchmarks and real gaming experience. Burnium 5 runs on Android 7.0 Nunga with VOS UI on top. Its user interface from Burnie that does not differ much from stock Android. There is no unnecessary Chinese apps. However, you will get security updates and fixes through OTA. The interface works very fast and smooth. I don't notice any problems while testing smartphone. Burnie company says that new smartphone can take photos no worse than Samsung Galaxy G5 2017. Perhaps it's true, because specifications are almost identical. Bruni M5 comes with 30 megapixel rear camera and 8 megapixel front camera. The camera app looks similar to other Chinese smartphones. Here you can find different modes, such as HDP, panorama, and other settings like photo and video resolution. At the moment, we cannot tell you about camera quality. We have to test it and then talk about photo quality. Later we will publish video with detailed camera test of Burnie M5. Despite very thin body, Burnie M5 is equipped with good battery capacity of 3300 mAh. I should say that OnePlus 5 has much more bigger size and it receives a battery of similar capacity. The manufacturer promises about 240 hours of standby time or 13 hours of playtime video. Please check out the description under the video. We plan to publish this video in coming days. What can I say about Burnie M5? It seems very simple Android smartphone for the second half of 2017. It doesn't have latest features like bezel-less design or dual-rear camera. However, we know that the dual-rear camera on budget smartphones is often fake, so I am not upset. As for the design, Burnie M5 has very thin body and compact size, so it's convenient to hold in hand. I think it's the most important thing. By the way, the price of this smartphone is about $120. In description you can find link where to buy it cheaper. And now we finish this video, however we will make at least 3 others with different tests, such as performance, camera and battery. Please check out description to watch other videos with this smartphone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.